In this video, we are going to work on combining resistors into something called the equivalent resistance. All right, to start off with, we need to define a couple words. So we've talked about entire circuits being in series or parallel, but now we need to talk about when pairs of resistors are in series or parallel. So resistors in series mean resistors that will receive the same current. We can identify them if there is no intersection between them. Basically no place for the current to split. For resistors in parallel, those are defined as when there are two different paths, so the current splits, travels through one resistor on each path, and then the current joins back together. Resistors that are in parallel always get the same voltage. All right, so when I am solving this, I want to first try to identify, do I see any um, resistors in series or do I see any in parallel? There must be in every case, every way that they could be configured, there's got to be at least two resistors that are either in series or parallel. I always look for parallel first. So first I see resistors B and C. They're on the same path. Let's assume that current is coming from the right side current splits, some will travel towards A, the rest of it goes through B and C. But anything that goes through B must also go through C. So B and C are in series. So we're going to use the series equation, so the equivalent resistance of two resistors in series, we just add their resistances together. All right, so basically what I want to do, we do a lot of redrawing, and especially when you do a complete problem, like in the next section, you'll want to always redraw this. So I'm going to replace what I highlighted in blue with just one wire with one resistor on it. So I still have resistor A up here, and resistor A is still 10 ohms, but now I have resistor right here. I'm combining those B and C into one. I'm going to call that resistor BC. And to get resistor BC, I did 30 ohms plus 10 ohms using my series equation. And that gave me 40 ohms for BC. All right, next. I look for, I have to ask myself, are these two resistors in series or parallel? Well, if current comes out here, it's going to split into do two different routes. So the same different current will travel to A as will travel to BC. So these resistors are actually going to be in parallel. So here's where they split, and some current's going to go up this way, and the rest of it will travel through B and C. So these two are in parallel. So I want to go ahead and redraw them as one resistor, and I'm going to call this resistor ABC. To find resistor ABC, I'm going to use the parallel equation. The parallel equation states that to find the equivalent resistance, I can do 1 divided by the sum of the inverses. By the way, both of these equations work if you have more than one resistor in series or more than one resistor in parallel, you can combine them um, more than one at once. All right, so in this equation, I'm going to do 1 divided by 1 over 30 plus 1 over 10. If I do that, I get 7.5 ohms for resistor ABC, which is my final answer. Basically, what this is saying is that this entire configuration here will draw the same amount of current as one 7.5 ohm resistor. And that will be the first step in solving really complicated circuit problems. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at another one. So. Let's look at what's going to happen if we get current coming in from the left side. That current is all going to travel through B, 
and split up. Some will travel through A, some will travel through C. So I don't see any resistors back to back. I don't see any that are in series that must draw the same current. Therefore, I must have two resistors in parallel. Well, it turns out it's going to be A and C because current is going to split at this intersection. Some will go through A, some will go through C before they come back together. So to answer the questions on the left, A and C are in parallel. So again, I want to redraw my circuit. So I still have resistor B, which is 30 ohms. But instead of this entire um, section that I highlighted in blue, I just want to draw one resistor. And I'm going to call that resistor AC. So to find resistor AC, I'm going to use the parallel equation. So 1 divided by 1 over 20 plus 1 over 40. And that gives me 13.3 ohms. All right, now these two resistors, there's no intersection between them, so they'd have to get the same current if we had current coming in from the left side. So these two must now be in series. So again, I'm going to redraw what I highlighted as just one. I'm going to call this resistor, resistor ABC. And I'm going to find its resistance using my series equation and doing 30 ohms plus 13.3 ohms. If I do that, then resistor ABC will equal 43.3 ohms. A quick note is when you combine two resistors that are in parallel, like we did with A and C, we should always get an answer that is less than either resistor. Basically, because two routes is easier to push current through than one. When I combine two that are in parallel, I'm just adding, so I should always add up, end up with a greater number, because it's harder to push current through two resistors back to back than either one single resistor on its own. All right, so this will be the very first step in figuring out really difficult problems because it'll tell me how much current is going to come out of the battery because we're saying that this entire setup will draw just as much current as one single 43.3 ohm resistor.